What's good, y'all? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? You already know what time it is, man. It's your motherfucking boy, Big Bay Day. And this is the Real Talk Real Shit Podcast, man. Um, as always and, and forever and always, thank y'all so much for uh, tuning in with me. Let me spark this up. Okay. I got a special, special, special um, video today for y'all as always. Toast. Doop. Got my cork in there, you know what I mean? You, when you can't get when you ain't got no cork, you gotta push that mug in there. Poof. You know what I mean? Okay. Alright, today I'm gonna be doing first off, I'm gonna be doing a little poetry for y'all. Some of my uh I'm gonna share some of my deepest some thoughts, my deepest innermost me type shit, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I've always been a musician, I've always been a writer. I've always been something, you know, uh it's always been something about me. I kinda I'm be honest with you, I don't always know who what I am, you know what I mean? I just know that there's been this force that guides me, this 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 force that just guides me. And it just wants me to do better and wants me to make everything around me better. Or, you know, it just compels me to try to make the world a better place. You know what I mean? Because no matter how good stuff is or how bad stuff is, it can always get better. Progress progress can always be made. You know what I mean? You don't have to never um, sit around and accept anything that, that you don't want to accept. You can always push for better and strive for better in life. All right? And with that being said, I'm gonna read a few, a couple, a few of my poems. I was going through my poetry bag today, and uh, we're going through my art bag. It's like more art than poetry. I got a lot of raps and pictures and a lot of shit in there. It's just my art bag, my creativity bag. You know what I mean? So I was going through that day, and I found like uh, one, two, three poems. I want to read them to y'all because. Like I said. All right. And the first one is going to be called I am love plus life. Like I am love. I am life. All right. And I wrote this one on uh, January 22nd, 2010 at 1041 in the morning a.m. OK. Um, now, well, before I write this stuff, I never re before I, before I read this, I never think about no poems I ever write. I just be, you know, what I, mean? I don't think about it. I just be writing it. You know what I mean? Um, I am in the veins of all that dwell. I course through the minds of all that breathe. I am the warm blanket of security for all that grieve. I would love to stay, but soon have to leave. My time differs from that of man. I strive for greatness in every way I can. My ways are pure and warm with love. At times I sway from a lack thereof. I want to, I want you to know, I want you to know and love me for I love you. I feel as if the world's rotation is almost through. Striving for ways to change the course, diligently using my mind and pen and my voice. For my word is indeed my bond. And a mind is a terrible thing to waste. So make the best out of every day and learn to live with love and not hate. You know what I mean? That's called... I am in the veins of all. I mean, that's called I am love. I am life. All right. Okay. So it's my first one. Oh, shit. All right. My first one. And then for the second one, it's going to be called, uh, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Um, altered minds, altered mind state. Altered mind state. Part of being a man includes having discipline. 
It's hard to forgive and easier to give in. We all get tested some more than others. That all depends on fate. This world is full of snakes, but you must keep your faith. For me, it's hard to believe in what I can't see. But I also know that what's meant to be will be. When I close my eyes, it's you that I see. Wondering what is to come or destined to be. But I must do some changing. Cause my mind needs, cause my scrambled mind needs a little rearranging. Your love and God are my guides. I look to you. I look to you both to help my pain subside. I'm eager for the day to chew and swallow my pride. But that would only happen for me once I learn to live with an altered mind. Know what I'm saying? Uh, all my poetry is just, it's almost like a Bible. It's almost like how to be a better person. It's almost like somebody was talking to me and giving me the guide, the guideline of life, how to be better. All right. And this is the last one I'm reading. Um, it doesn't really have a name, so we're just going to read it. And I didn't go through it, so I just hope it's a good one. All right. Um, here we go. This was wrote on uh, January the 9th, 2008. Long ass time ago. As I stare into the clouds this morning, I think to myself, things are looking up. The feelings that I relish couldn't seem to be enough. Gazing out into the clouds, trying to figure out what life is made of. My thoughts run deep like the pits of the ocean. Covering all notions, searching for the right potion. Striving to succeed in this world and live long. In order to do that, we must... Hold on. In order to do that, we have to think, eat, and build strong. Figuring out numerous ways of preparation so none of our kids... Figuring out numerous ways of preparation so no one can do our kids wrong. All we need is seven great leaders. One in each continent to ensure that no one feeds us with lies, misnomers, and misconceptions. Will somebody please point us in the right direction? Point out all, point out my wrongs and teach me a lesson. Nowadays, everything is divide and conquer. That's why there are some, that's why so, there are so many of our brothers and sisters in the world dying of hunger. I'm not saying that you can change the world, but who am I to, but who am I to say what powers you possess? I'm just saying that if we, I'm just saying that if we each don't try to clean up this world, we will all have to live in this mess. You know what I'm saying? It's your motherfucking boy, Big Bay Day, man. I'm getting just a couple quick poems, man. A few core poems, leave y'all with something positive, man. It's your motherfucking boy, Big Bay Day, man. This is the Real Talk, Real Shit Podcast. I'll let y'all later, man. Much love to y'all, man. Much love, man. Subscribe, comment. Let me know how those things made you feel if they didn't make you feel anything. Let me know. It's your motherfucking boy, Big Bad Egg.